comes to shopping, and you know, got one of the biggest malls <laughs> here. Of and course. The oldest mall was Southdale. Um, what kind of stores are you drawn to? I really love little boutiques. I love 50s in France, um, but I can't avoid, you know, a Macy's or a Bloomies. I love department stores too. I just, I love to shop. I mean, what girl doesn't love to shop? Um, my mom has been trying to wane me off of it since I was a young girl, but um, yeah, you could probably take me anywhere and I'd find something. <laughs> if I go into Target, I probably would not walk out with like the toothpaste I needed, but I'd find a shirt somewhere in the clothing department. Oh. So yeah, <laughs> I like to shop everywhere. And let's ask you a few rapid fire questions. Okay. Um, what's your favorite kind of music? I, I'm an R&B girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like hip hop and R&B. Um, I mean, I listen to Top 40, anything that's on the radio, really, but I really love R&B and soul, that kind of thing. Any particular song this summer that you listen to quite frequently? Wow. Um, this is an R&B, but I really like uh, One More Night by Maroon 5. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love that song. Every time I hear it, even though they play it kind of too much, which <laughs> that's the radio for you, but yeah. um, every time I hear it, I'm bumping in my car. All right. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to food, are you a person that likes more sweet or savory? Savory, okay. for sure. I almost never order dessert. Really? I would rather eat, you know, another appetizer than dessert. I'm an appetizer person too. Okay. Uh, favorite color? Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> uh, favorite TV show? Or let's say shows. Let's make it broader. Then you don't. Uh, well, I holy. my. I mean, I watch. I watch a ton of local news. I watch every station. Um, not just us. I watch every station. I watch a lot of cable news and then Guilty Pleasure, Teen Mom. Okay. <laughs> I watch Teen Mom. I watch every episode. Okay. Uh, favorite current movie? Wow. Um, I don't watch a whole lot of movies, but my favorite movie of all time is The Princess Bride. Ah, yes. That's a classic. Yeah. Uh, if you were going to go on vacation and you had a choice between Alaska or Miami, which would you choose? Miami. Miami. Okay. Go to the warm place. Yep. Um, let's talk a little bit more about um, what you do on your downtime right now. Are you a reader, or like of newspapers, books? You know, what kind of takes your interest? Well, I like to read newspapers, but now newspapers are online, so um, I read a lot of online news. Um, I'm, you know, I read. I wake up, you know, I'm checking out Twitter, Facebook. Uh, all the online newspapers. I start with local, and then I, you know, I go to CNN.com pretty much every day. Um, New York Times. Those are basically my daily reading habits. But um, yeah, I mean, if you our local papers and our local news websites do a really good job of hitting the national stories as well. We're, we're in a really lucky market in that um, we have some really strong journalists here, not just in this building, but across the spectrum. So. Oh yeah, I'll agree with you on that. Yeah. Um, when it comes to journalists, either other reporters or anchors, who are some people that you look up to, whether here or on a national level? Um, I'm a big Brian Williams fan. Okay. <laughs> I, I actually met him in Tucson um, after the Gabby Giffords shooting. Okay. Um, I had the opportunity of meeting him, and he's just a really powerful person. With um, dry humor. Yes. <laughs> <that's> true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I watch his clips on the soup all the time. They always quote him on the soup. Um, but yeah, I mean, we actually I interviewed him live, and it was we went up to him. You know, um, actually my news director was like, "If you see Brian out there, why do you ask him for a live interview?" And I was like, "Why don't I? What? Like he's never going <laughs> to say yes to that." And I actually, you know, we saw this little crew out there, and I walked up to them, and he was actually looking through his photographer's viewfinder because he wanted to see the shot. Okay. And here's, you know, Brian Williams, you know, one of the biggest names in television news, you know, an icon. And he wants to see what his photographer is seeing. And not only that, but he agreed to do the interview and told me, he took down my cell phone number and told me he would call me back if he wasn't going to be there. So I'm oh. thinking, there's no way he's going to show. And just a few minutes before my live shot, he was there. And nice. his answers to the questions were, thoughtful I can see that. and emotional and real. He was a real person. I mean, he, he's just a really smart guy and he knows what he's talking about. And yeah, I really look up to him a lot. Um, I also like Suzanne Melvo on CNN. Okay. And um, Christiane Amapour. She's 
she's a lot of people's this, favorite. This so. international, yeah. yeah. Although I don't think I have the gusto to do some of the things that she's done, but... Probably some of the locales would be a little tough, too. Yeah, but she is an inspiration, so those are some of my favorites. Okay. With you being a reporter right now, is that something you would like to hold on to for a while, or do you have aspirations at some point that you'd like to do some anchoring? I am very happy reporting. Um, there are days when I end up in the newsroom the entire day, and you can ask some of the producers here, I probably drive them crazy on those days because I'm like, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you want to talk? I'm bored. What are you, do what are you doing? Um, so I, I have this drive, at least at, at this end, 25 years old. I love being out in the field. I love talking to people. And not that anchors don't get that opportunity, mm -hmm. but um, you don't as much. Right. And so, you know, I can see it someday. I do want to have a family. I do want to have children. Um, so I can see it someday. For scheduling it Right, out. being yeah. much happier um, in a more stable position, like in an anchor chair. But right now I'm very satisfied running around in my heels and taking down stories. Very cool. One last thing we'll ask you, are there any current goals or, or things that are on your bucket or to-do list, however you want to refer to it, that you're looking forward to doing, hopefully, say, in the next year or two? Wow. Maybe it's like something athletically, like maybe running or some personal goal? Hmm. Wow, that's a really good question. Do I have a goal for the next year? Besides <laughs> stay healthy and yeah. stay warm. Yeah, <laughs> stay, stay warm. That's a good one. Um, I think just, you know, to keep, keep getting to know the cities. I mean, I've been here a year, and um, even when I think I've, I've done it all, I haven't really, but... Um, Are there any areas of the city or state that you'd like to visit you haven't yet? I have not been fishing. Oh, okay. I actually don't think I've ever been fishing. I mean, like, actually, you know, on a boat, I've not been ice fishing. That's one thing I could do in the next year. Yeah. That would be, if it's know, cold I, enough. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. It might not be. Yeah. But there's got to be, you know, one of those lakes really far up north having to be cold enough for us. Yeah. That'd be a cool goal. I'm glad that you asked that question because now it will be my goal. I will go ice fishing this winter. Okay. We'll ask you at another time. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks, Naomi, for Thank your time. You. Thanks, everybody, for watching Faces of Minnesota, and please watch again. Thank you.